Hi everyone, Alvis Ike here. Uh, today I have a uh, short video for informational purposes only on hangry. Okay, so you've probably heard the term hangry, you know, uh, getting angry because you're hungry, you know, you didn't eat uh, when you should have. Okay, you remember the Snickers? Uh, commercials of people not being themselves you know you're not you when you're when you're hungry that sort of thing so is is being hangry a real thing or is it made up or what's the deal well okay so I actually did some investigation and uh, here's what I found out so according to medical news today the term hangry uh, was coined in 1918 I never knew that. Okay, it was coined in 1918 to describe irritability or anger due to being hungry. Okay, we've got that. So now, is there actually evidence, though, to show an association uh, between being hungry and being angry or irritable? Okay, so. Again, did a little surfing of the uh, the web, found some research by Dr. Swami and Dr. Steiger, uh, based in the UK and Austria, I believe. Uh, they had a study that indicated that uh, even after accounting for demogra demographic factors and individual personality traits, the data revealed that hunger can easily morph into hanger. Okay. And then I went a little bit further, and um, an article from clevelandclinic.org uh, indicates that there's uh, a physiological reason for being hangry. And I took some information from gastroenterologist Christine Lee, MD, and uh, she said, uh, when you haven't eaten for a while, the level of sugar, glucose, in your bloodstream decreases. Okay. And when your blood sugar gets too low, it triggers this, she puts it, a cascade of hormones, including cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and adrenaline, uh, you know, which is like the, the fight, flight, or freeze hormone. And so these hormones are released into your bloodstream and raise uh, and rebalance your, your blood sugar. Now, the release of cortisol can cause some aggression in some people okay and also low blood sugar may interfere with uh, higher brain functions you know that help us control impulses so I've got a lot of videos on you know the, the limbic system which is the part of the brain that uh, deals with emotions and um, and then we have the prefrontal cortex which is the kind of the rational part of the brain so if we're shutting down the prefrontal cortex and then we've got issues just going on with the limbic system okay yeah anger can uh, then play a part okay so we've actually got some evidence here uh, based on what I found and um, I didn't stop there I got some uh, content this came out appeared in San Diego Health uh, Stacy Lee, different spelling, uh, Stacy Lee, MD, MD, internal medicine physician at Scripps Coastal Medical Center in Carlsbad, said a lot of what people eat correlates to their mood. Okay, so there you have it. Is uh, hangry a real thing? Uh, apparently, uh, it is. And I do want to leave you with some recommendations that Dr. Lee from uh, from Scripps uh, said just in terms of kind of preventative types of things so you don't have to worry about getting hangry. Uh, first of all, she actually said, uh, I wouldn't have thought of this, but she said drink plenty of water. So staying hydrated will make you less sensitive to low blood sugar is the way uh, she put it. Okay. And um, don't skip meals, of course. Uh, that's, you know, makes sense. And I... Uh, personally, myself, I eat a lot of little meals throughout the course of the day. So I'm going every, you know, every couple hours, I've got something in my mouth. Okay. Uh, then she mentions on number three, she says, resist 
junk food, okay? Um, and she says, if you're going to eat uh, carbohydrates, uh, you want to also add some, some protein uh, with that, okay? And then finally, she says, snack wisely. So munch on foods high in protein and fiber, like nuts, cheese, eggs, hummus, and fruit. And there you have it, apparently. Um, hanger and being hangry uh, is a thing, and there are ways that you can avoid it. And that is it for this episode.